Okay, so part two. We're gonna get through this, it's gonna be great. All right, life thoughts. So I have a lot of reflection on life lately. Like what's my purpose, what am I good at? That's kind of been something that's been going on in my life for the past like, I wanna say the last 10 years, right? Just off and on, where am I, where am I doing? What's direction am I, like directionally, where am I going? What else, what am I good at, what's my purpose? What does God want me to do? What do I wanna do and what I feel in my heart? Um, these are just things that I constantly ask, you know, um, and I just think there's just, I just sometimes feel so much pressure that when you do a job, you have to be like perfect at it. There's just this all, I don't know, to me anyways, I think it might just be me, but I just feel these, all these different tensions of perfection that are just demanded from different aspects of society. And I just, I think for my own insecurity, that makes me more insecure if that makes sense, like I just sort of crawl into that fear of like, oh, I'm not good enough. Um, and it makes me question if I'm really good at anything kind of thing, um, which obviously I am. It's just sort of, you know, doing it more, doing things more um, and getting confidence in myself, um, which isn't really an easy thing to do. I think there's also a lot of laziness within myself as well. I'm very hard on myself. Um, there's a lot of hesitation, I think a lot. So there's a lot of different components into where I am at now. But I've definitely thought about life a lot. And I think I've always had the mindset where I'm just like, I, I think life is too short to be focusing on money and to be focusing, yeah, just like on material things, you know, like on a big house and all the clothes and the cars. And at the end of the day, like, you're not going to take those things with you and they're they're point they're useless you know a car's function is it gets you from point a to point b as long as it does that in safety you know great you know <clears throat> that's just kind of how i see it you know i don't i don't need a lot like i for me success isn't so much okay becoming the ceo of a company and like i don't know like having all these high designer clothes and you know marrying a rich man and <clears throat> I don't know whatever like whatever else I can't think of anything else that would be kind of a goal I think those are just aren't goals of mine like for me it's just, it's about the experience like I want to you know it's like that song switch but you know like awakening like I want to wake up kicking screaming I like I want to know what I'm feeling I want to know what I'm leaving I want to taste I want to feel I want to see I want to hear life through the good and the bad you know and the bad is obviously always harder people want to like run through that part but like it's important like like that's what I want like I want to travel I want to meet people I want to hear their stories I want to do different jobs and try different things and like make myself and challenge myself to do those things even when I'm scared and like there's these voices in my say in my head saying you can't do this I want to challenge myself every day and say yes you can like these are things I want to do these are things that I dream about you know obviously there's always the dream of the little house on the mountain and making my garden and living a remote life away from the, the current society but you know <clears throat> napoleon's you know says deserted island isn't looking so bad if i can bring some tools and some food <laughs> kind of thing but i think you know there's just there's more to life than than that and to, than to just to just surviving you know you've been given such a great gift to to breathe you know and to see and to hear and all these things like you know why wouldn't you want to use them to to grow and to understand and to experience these different things I don't know I just I just I'm just craving adventure I'm craving to experience and to do and to live and maybe part of that is just because ideally in my mind it looks a lot different than actually doing it there's definitely a naive component to myself as well because I'm inexperienced with a lot of things. I've lived in a bubble my whole life. Um, or at least it feels that way sometimes. Maybe I haven't. But um, I just think that 
there's just so much more than to life than getting a really good job and being quote on and having my own place and being quote unquote successful. I mean, is it important that you can pay for insur- life insurance and like take care of yourself and be in a good place so that, you know, when the time comes, you can take care of your parents? Absolutely. Right? Those are responsibilities as part of growing up. Being able to pay your bills on time. Absolutely. But I just don't really feel like it should be the main focus of my life, if that makes sense. Like, there's going to be a point in time, like I said, where I'm obviously going to have to take care of my parents and be there for my parents, and I'm absolutely, like, 100% I'll be there. But the whole, like, oh, like, let me get an apartment and a really good job and work up the ladder and make all this money, I just, that's just not me. And I always knew that. You know, I just, I just don't see my life that way. There's just so much I want to do and learn. Um, Of course, you have to have money to do those things, so that's kind of the tough part, but um, (laughs) the tough nail, you know. But that's part of the whole experience as well, is like taking the need for that money and trying different things. But I think it's also my dad raised a lot of good points because we were talking about this over breakfast today too, is it's doing those things and, you know, doing different jobs and then you know waking up one day and going to work and saying wow this is actually something I'm good at and something I like to do and just staying but I think that there's there's something rewarding about moving around a lot as well and you know just hearing people's story like what made them interested in doing these things you know why why do we do the things that we do like just learning all these different things I just I don't know that's just those are kind of the thoughts that are running through my head, just thinking a lot about life and purpose and where to go and traveling and daydreaming about all these different things and wondering how everything falls into place and what to do with myself and my time since I don't use it as well sometimes as I'd like. Um, especially when it comes to work and schoolwork. I mean, I never was really as studious as my siblings and I hate that I compare myself to other people but I compare myself to other people sorry but yeah I just I wasn't I had never have been but I think that's another thing too with this is I've been encouraged to challenge my to challenge that and that's kind of what I'm doing the fact that I go to the college that I go to I never thought I'd get into a university like that or that I'd be able to handle the workload and I've been on the dean's list and I've gotten A's and B's and I work hard and, you know, I've, I've done well for myself so far. Um, so that's pretty, pretty incredible in itself, you know. Um, but yeah, I think knowing yourself but also just pushing yourself and, you know, keeping up the work. But I don't really know what my point was at the end of the tour, so I lost it somewhere in the middle. But, um... Yeah, just a lot of thoughts about life, as always. I mean, I'm always thinking. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Okay, so my brother's birthday is coming up um, next week during Holy Week, which is also Holy Week. Um, so that's pretty crazy. Easter is right around the bed. And it's April's Fool's Day this year, which is so weird. I was like, what the hell? But um, yeah, so all of that is happening um, the next week. So next week's going to be pretty pretty radical. Um School is going to get more intense, especially in April when you're hitting that last, you know, that last, uh, those last few weeks there, it gets pretty, pretty, uh, down to the wire, pretty crazy. So I'm sure I'll be pretty much almost insane (laughs) by that point. Um, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, I'm done with uh, my classes, my current classes, May 9th. And then I am on summer, and I probably have like one week of vacation before I go back to school. Oh my gosh, isn't that great? So I have to set up the summer courses I'm going to be taking with my advisor, hopefully in the next week or two. And I'm going to do summer courses to speed things along so that I can get done with school as soon as possible. That would be fantastic if I could stay on schedule for that since I think I've been in school quite a long time and I think it's time to 
start doing, <laughs> start living, uh, and carrying these things out. Uh, what else? Okay. Um, so it's actually a mystery of what I'm actually going to be doing over the summer in between classes or in classes or what have you. So that's kind of a slow mystery. Um, but I love summer. I'm excited for it. I can't wait. Um, hope I get to go to the beach a lot. Hope nothing really bad happens. And, um, hope it's a good time. Hope it's radical. Yeah, yeah. Pump it up. Um, see, so yeah, I hope it's a good time. Uh, it usually is. Summer always is a good time. And the sun's always out and shining. And But I think it's also important to remember countries that summer is not a good time. Um, there are a lot of people that suffer in the world. So while we're like, yay, summer, they're like, oh my gosh, like people are going to die. Um, and that's kind of serious, I know, like to bring up. But I think it's important because I never really make myself draw attention to that. But I think... It's really important to think about other people, um, you know, and not just myself or things that I'm affected by. Because summer for me is going to be like, I'm great. I'm like looking forward to it. It's great. I have air conditioning though. Right. Some people don't. So just kind of keeping that in mind too is kind of important. So being excited, but also kind of thinking of those people and maybe in the future ways I can help them. Uh, if I can. <laughs> Praying for them too. Which people are always like, what do prayers do? But they do a lot more than you think, love. They do. Um, and it's a way to say that I'm thinking of you. Uh, so yeah, summer's going to be a mystery, but always a good time. Can't wait for that beach weather. Um, there was a song by Arizona with my name, and I was like, hell yeah. And I was like, I totally could relate to the lyrics too. I was like, I'm literally just being serenaded right now. Um, so that was fun. I found that today, and right now, I just am doing snack time. Well, that was kind of like then. I kind of feel like having potato salad, but it's like one in the morning, so it's kind of weird. But I might anyways. I don't know. I'm going to have some little snack, so. That's the end of my recap. I covered everything. I tried to be as quick as I could, except clearly I wasn't, because this is like 20 minutes. But all right, now you guys know. Everything that's going on in my life right now, keep it classy.